For the age-based vaccination plan begins on Monday. Vaccination clinics were taking place around the state today. Shara Taylor with the Fox 61 vaccine team checked out a pop-up clinic in Harford and a mass vaccination clinic in Vernon. Today, the city of Hartford's Health and Human Services Department is holding a vaccine clinic for individuals that are age 65 and older and any healthcare workers or first responders who are interested in receiving their vaccine. This pop-up vaccination clinic at Dunkin' Donuts Park in Hartford will be here every Saturday from 10 to 3 until the end of March. I'm proud to say that we now have half a dozen permanent or semi-permanent vaccination sites in our city. Mayor Luke Bronin visiting the clinic Saturday joined by city officials and U.S. Senator Murphy to hold a press conference. Murphy says a $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief bill by President Biden presented to Congress passed the House of Representatives last night and is now pending before the U.S. Senate. You know, legislation is going to deliver incredibly important resources here to Connecticut, to Connecticut families, to Connecticut businesses, uh, and also to sites like this. Today, the clinic is also focusing on age 55 and up who are filling out vaccine interest forms. The city's health department will later call them to schedule an appointment for an upcoming clinic. Governor Lamont announcing earlier this week people in this age group will be able to make an appointment this Monday. An age-based approach to expanding eligibility for the vaccine continues in Connecticut instead of other scenarios, which Governor Lamont says were complex and confusing. Officials say 96% of COVID-19 deaths in Connecticut occur in people over the age of 55. The town of Vernon also hosting its own mega COVID-19 vaccination clinic on Saturday at the Vernon Senior Center. Today's clinic is different because there are 11 vaccine stations. People are coming to receive their first dose of the Moderna vaccine and returning for their second dose. The clinic planning to distribute more than 500 doses of the Moderna vaccine, 200 people expected to receive second doses, and about 320 people to receive first doses. With the way the supplies are right now, also get the vaccine which is first available to you. As we reported, the nation waits for a third vaccine against COVID-19 from Johnson & Johnson. He says the doses are slightly different, but results comparable. He says they must be careful with seniors and their mobility, observing them a little longer after the vaccine. It's very rewarding. You know, they, these people have wealth of knowledge for uh, all of us, so we want to be extra cautious and you know, make sure we treat them right. Two Vernon residents happy to receive their vaccination. I normally don't like shots, but this I probably need. And Jean, who gave me my shot, is the best, didn't even feel it. 30 people working today and volunteers help make it possible. The more vaccinations we have available, the more volunteers we need. Shara Taylor, Fox 61 News. Shara, thank you. This Sunday morning, tune in to the Fox 61 Morning News at 8.30 a.m. for a shot of hope, a special you ask, we answer. A doctor is from Trinity Health of New England answering your questions about the COVID-19 vaccines, side effects, fertility, hesitancy, a lot of issues. That's this happening Sunday at 8.30 a.m.